the sad childhood of Rich Allison, from criminal to star player. Brazilian professional footballer Rich Allison de Andrade, also known by his stage name Rich Allison, plays forward for Premier League side Tottenham Hotspur as well as Brazilian national team. He started his professional career in 2015 with America Mineiro, where he just spent one season before switching to Fluminense after being promoted from Campeonato Primera Serie B. Welcome back to Made It. In today's video, we are going to see childhood of the famous football player and how it changed his life. Watch the whole video to know about these tragedies and how he overcame them. Before getting into the video, subscribe to our channel. In his two years there, he played 67 games, scored 19 goals, and was chosen to the team of the season after the team finished second in the 2017 Campeonato Carioca. After that, he joined the Watford and then the Everton a year later. In 2022, he subsequently joined Tottenham Hotspur. Richarlison was raised in Nova Venezia, a state in Espirito Santo southeast that has nice beaches but is more known for the manufacturing of steel and oil than football players. Richarlison has made it to where he is today after a tremendous journey. The sad event occurred whilst he was 14 years old, carefree, and playing sports in the streets of Nova Venezia. He didn't grow up in a perfect environment and had to navigate a rough Brazilian street to make it to the top division. Richarlison even had a close call with death, which he now cheerfully recalls. He joined a local football academy at the age of 10, although he later admitted, quote, I didn't have any shoes to play in, so I went in barefoot. Everyone wore athletic shoes. I also recall jogging 9 kilometers with ripped running shoes one day to get to training. I had to stop and tuck the sock back in because it kept slipping out of the shoe. End quote. Then there was the time he was rejected by Figueirense, a minor club located almost 9,000 kilometers from Nova Venezia, and had to wait for more than 10 hours in a bus station in the rain and cold on the way home. Quote, the guy assumed I was a drug dealer seeking to seize his distribution point on the day he aimed a gun at my head. I was terrified. I was prepared to die if he pulled the trigger, yet I lived and continued. End quote. When Richarlison was just 16 years old, he met entrepreneur Renato Velasco, who recognized his potential while seeing him play for the real Noroeste juvenile squad. In December 2014, Velasco assisted the teenager winger in securing a transfer to America MG, a team in Brazil's second division. Givanildo Oliveira, the manager, gave Richarlison a promotion to the main squad after noticing his immediate success in the youth divisions. The kid contributed to America's Minuero's promotion to Football Brazil Series A with 9 goals in 24 games played for them. In 2016, he relocated to Fluminense, where he quickly made a name for himself as one of the most intriguing possibilities in the Brazilian league. It was more than clear that he would be relocating to Europe in the summertime of 2017, and Richarlison was persuaded to reject Ajax and sign with Watford after receiving a call from Portuguese manager Marco Silva. Richarlison cites his first youth coach, police officer Fidel Carvalho, as another person who guided him away from the life of crime. Carvalho's adage was, never give up. He remembers fitting eight squad members into a VW goal to compete in an out-of-town final. They went on the trip with the future Everton forward in the boot and came back victorious. After much back and forth, Real was permitted to keeping a portion of his rights, but Antonio's mental health, who was already depressed, was negatively impacted by the club's aggressive stance. Richarlison still feels uncomfortable discussing them in his career. Even though leaving Real was challenging, the child acclimated to life in America with ease. He was one of the two boys chosen from the trial to which he took a bus and he joined the U-17 team of the Serie B club before being quickly promoted to the U-20s after scoring four goals in his first four games. Eula del Almeida Araujo, the director of America, recalled being amazed by his stamina and tenacity, which he had developed by jogging up and down the hilly, cobblestone streets of Nova Venezia. He started working out with the first team a few weeks later. According to Araujo, quote, He played on the wing and would draw fouls frequently but would rarely go down. Defenders would collide with him, causing him to drop. Though you might assume he must be harmed, he would get back up and carry on. He never quit trying. In that regard, his youthful physical strength and tenacity reminded me of young Ronaldo." End quote. So guys, do you think Richarlison has done a lot to reach here? To know the rest, continue watching the video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content just like this one. 
Richarlison was a fierce competitor off the field as well. Silvio Juno Nunes da Silva, a massage therapist from America, recalled having to bring his little son to work one evening before a game. When America was promoted to Serie A in 2015, Marcelo Toscano and Richarlison played together up front. He recalls a player who was gifted, humble and had a big nose. Richarlison only spent a year at America, scoring 9 goals in 24 games before being traded to Fluminense at the age of 18, 10 million Brazilian real, which is about 1.6 million pounds. The fact that they kept 20% of his economic rights and received a profit when he moved to Watford in 2017 for 11 million pounds, however, does not mean that he did not leave an effect. When it comes to social problems, few active players, if any, are as outspoken as Richarlison. He has contributed to the awareness and money-raising efforts for a variety of humanitarian causes, such as the fight against COVID-19, the deforestation disaster in Brazil, and the significance of participating in this year's presidential races. In 2019, he broke convention by obtaining the highest honor an athlete could receive in his native state of Espirito Santo just days after paying for a team of Brazilian students to fly to Taiwan to participate in an international math competition. He asked for the opportunity to speak and urged the local government to increase its educational spending. He was crowned Everton's PFA Community Champion a year later, following the organization of a charity game in Nova Venezia that raised 6.4 tons of food just for those in need. He told the club's official website that, quote, All of us who play in big leagues and have space in the media, we have a significant social duty. At first, all I wanted was to buy a house for my family, but later I realized I could do more, end quote. Nobody could reasonably doubt his resolve to stay in the Everton despite the fact that his team is in a relegation battle and there are numerous rumours linking him to a transfer abroad. A potential homecoming with Neymar at PSG persists. He keeps giving everything he has in six-foot frame to the game. Just a little distance from the dilapidated red brick bus stop where it all started, Antonio explains that, quote, It's a dream that I've had ever since I was a kid watching Ronaldo in 2002. End quote. The Brazilian only experienced poverty as a child because he grew up in a slum in Espirito Santo. He avoided the widespread drug use and other criminal activity by remaining close to his mother, with whom he peddled ice cream until finding solace in football. Richarlison disclosed in an exclusive interview with Globo that some of his pals are currently incarcerated while others have already passed away. The player continued by saying that his father's belief in football skills was a factor in his career success and filament of his Premier League dream. The 21-year-old continued by describing an incident that almost killed him. The star forward, who had unintentionally strayed onto a drug dealer's property, was threatened with a gun to the head and given a firm warning not to come back. The participant, who signed on with Real Noroeste as a young player in 2013, transferred to America Minuero the following year, quickly advanced through the ranks and made his first team debut in 2015. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, bang that bell icon for notifications and watch other videos from our playlist for more information.